Lindsay, stay near the window. Lend a hand. I'd better get away before they start asking questions. You stay and do the explaining. All right. Well, you've got Tosco out, but you're both on the outlaw list now. No one will be looking for us here. We figure to be safer to wait for a few hours till the ruckus calms down before we make a break for it. I suppose you're right. But don't come back here again unless you absolutely have to. We won't. I'll be out at the camp until we hear from you. Good. Meanwhile, I got a job for you. This is a section map of the reservation. The commissioner didn't want to start a stampede, so he had the settlers draw lots for the different pieces of land. When the official OK comes through from Washington, each man will move in and buy up the section allotted to him. This section, where the gold is, has been assigned to a man named Clem Stokes. He's camped at the edge of the reservation now. So we do something about Stokes. Right. Let's have a drink. Barnett, do you think he's in with Crane? Well, they've been about halfway suspicious for a long time. They're always together in the saloon. But it'll take some pretty solid evidence to pin anything on a man as prominent as Barnett. Of course. If Barnett is in with Crane, then he won't tell you anything. That's why I want to have a talk with him. If he tries to cover for Crane, then I'll be more than halfway suspicious. You need more than suspicions, Jerry. <laughs> You're right. Well, if I don't get a lead from Barnett, I'll ride out to the reservation and look for Crane. Thanks for the coffee, Nancy. Certainly. No, I reckon not, mister. If that section's worth a thousand dollars to you, likely it's worth that much to me. And we came a long way to get that land. Better not decide too quick. This can be pretty rough country for hayseeds who can't get along with the old timers. Well, now, mister, I reckon we can still take care of ourselves. Price. We better see what he wants. Think it over. We'll be seeing you again. What's up? The boss said tell you Randall was in quizzing him about you. So what? He wouldn't get anywhere with Barnett. No, but he said Randall acted awful suspicious, and he's liable to be out looking for you. And we better snap this thing along. Doesn't look like those farmers want to make a deal with us, so we'll go to work on them. If Randall is around, he will hear the shooting. So we'll take care of him, too. You stay here. If El ought to go or Randall show up, start blasting. And we'll come back and help you. OK.
That's that. Might as well go back. Do we attack settlers again? No. No, they'll be all set for us now. I'm more interested in catching El Ladigo. We'll turn his horse loose and follow him. He'll lead us right to his hideout. Spook that horse out of there, Price. Ha! Go back and tell Barnett. We can handle this. Okay. Wait. I'm your friend. Aren't you El Latigo? Yes. Well, I've heard a lot about you. Was it you that chased those varmints away for us? Well, let's say I led them away. Anywhere they're gone, and so is my horse. I wonder if I could borrow one to get home on. Well, sure. We'll fix you up right away. So, El lot to go and Randall are the same man, after all. Get the horses out of sight, then come inside. Try to come in anyway, though. Keep watching. Time up. 